Okay, I had a, uh, a question regarding um, bronze brazing rod from one of the viewers, so I'll give a quick run through on um, the differences between the two types of rods. The hard bronze rod, uh, like this, uh, is the rod I prefer to use. Um, I much prefer using this and your basic flux, this is your easy 303 flux. I much prefer using these two items together than a coated rod like that. Um, the reason is quite simple. When you're brazing, uh, say you've got a piece of bit of rubbish off, a bit of scrap stuff, so you're brazing that onto that. Okay, the technique that works best is um, that you put, you heat up your rod with the gun, dip it in your flux, and when you preheat, you heat everything up, preheat it, get it nice and hot, and then you basically run your flux around, put on the, the exact amount of flux that you actually want to have on there. You can run it around the uh, the job, get it all fluxed up nicely, and then then go on and run your bronze in. The problem with this type of rod is you've got no control over the amount of flux you're putting on. You're basically trying to flux it as you're brazing it, as you're bronzing it, which is a pretty crappy way of doing it. You're better off, definitely better off, to pre-flux the job and then you can just run in the amount of bronze you want. Once again, um, you're putting on, once you've fluxed it with this rod, if you want to put in more bronze, you're also adding more flux, which you don't want. Once you've fluxed it, once you've put on the exact amount of flux you want, all you want to add then is bronze. You don't want to be adding any more flux. So that's why I don't like these rods personally. I mean, they're okay, you know, if you want to use them, but plain hard bronze rod is definitely a lot better way to go. Um, also, another tip on bronzing is when you're bronzing, you flux around and you run, you can run, in, you can run your uh, bronze around uh, and it will capillarate underneath the items. So it'll basically go between the two items and it will then form a bond. Where you've got, that's not okay for stuff like that. Where you've got flat surfaces like this, um, you can put them on bronze and it will run, run in under on the edges, but it won't necessarily go all the way across. So a good trick with this is that what you do is you basically run your, do them separately on the two surfaces that you want to bond. So you bronze, put a, a layer, a film of bronze over the back of this, you know, on this section here. You then put a layer of bronze, a film of bronze on this section here, put them together, heat them up red hot again to bronze melting temperature with the gun, let it cool and they'll be totally bonded um, between both surfaces. So that's a good way of doing it. Um, apart from that, bronzing is very easy. Um, and it will do thick to thin, it will do very thin stuff. If you, I mean, I've had to repair a, a power steering pump uh, housing, which is very thin metal. It's like jam, jam tin material almost, and uh, it did a beautiful job. Another trick with the, uh, <laughs> with the plain bronze rods is as they get real short, if you're a Scrooge like me, you can just join them together. So you just basically melt them together and then you've got a full rod length. Otherwise you're going to be getting your fingers burnt. But uh, So you can use the old scrappy bits and uh, get your full money worth out of your rods. So there you go. I hope that helps. It's pretty simple stuff really. Um, and uh, any more questions? Well, ping them in. See you next time.